One of the best things in the world to be is a boy. It requires no experience, but needs some practice to be a good one. When I first told my friends that I was going to boarding school, um, at my old day school, they're, they're like, what are you, crazy? And, and, uh, and they're like, what's wrong with this school? And that's not really what I wanted. I wanted a school that you're doing all different kinds of things throughout the whole day, not strictly academics, like the sports, the sports mainly. And here, it's, it's almost like a camp. It's, it's just great. It's different. Every day is different. The classroom experiences, I have to say, I mean, I usually, I didn't like going to school. But now the teachers make it so fun to the point where actually the teachers get so silly sometimes in class that it's, it's a pleasure. I can remember classes where teachers stand, stood up on desks and yelled and screamed and gotten the point across very well. And I can remember like the spring when people put, are playing their music out the windows and everyone's rollerblading and riding bikes around the campus. The dorm life is one of the biggest things that I like about Cardigan. It gives you a, like a family environment since the school's so small. 160 kids, you really get to know everybody. And um, with like the dogs and stuff, it's kind of neat. The dogs on campus and the little kids kind of add to it. It's nice to see that. A boy has two jobs. One, to be a boy. The other is growing up to be a man. I get a lot of uh, attention here. Uh, I don't know, I, at a public school you don't get much, in my opinion. But here, if you have a question, you, you can ask just about anybody. And since you live in a dorm uh, with dorm parents and people there that are right there, you just have to knock on a door and you can get some help. All right, now you want to get in by itself, so how do you do that? How do you get rid of this 60? Well, they get individual attention from um, their tutor down here. Um, there's opportunities to meet during study halls with an individual teacher. There's a conference period that's set up where boys can get extra individual attention when they need help in a subject. I really feel that we're able to help them succeed in a lot of different areas that they may not be able to otherwise. The reason why I came to Cardigan was because I was not the greatest student, but I had great potential, and uh, once I got here, they, they help me organize myself and get ready to study so that I, right now I'm doing very well. In our classrooms, we've got a, an average, I think, of seven to eight students for every teacher. Um, and, and in that kind of system and in the systems that we have in place for support here, the boy, uh, unless they really are determined to fail here, will, will succeed. Um, I came here at first just for the sports, um, <laughs> the uh, hockey, but when I came here, I learned that uh, the academics are great here. And for any type of kid, any type of kid can come to Cardigan and succeed. Teach them to believe in themselves because it has to start from within. Once they have the confidence and then we provide the tools, they can do about anything they want. All we ask them to do is try. Boys at this age need three things. One, they need to know who's the boss. They need to know what the rules are. And three, they need to know that you're going to enforce the rules. And if you enforce the rules, you gain their trust and respect and love, I think. You know, the rules, I, I was expecting to be like a real stiff school where there's tough rules to get along with. It's not that hard at all. You get used to them. You learn to live with the rules and what you can get away with. It's not that hard. All you have to do is follow the rules. And yeah. by following the rules, the rules are easier to follow. Experience is a hard teacher because she gives the test first, the lesson afterwards. I don't know, I mean, in the Christmas pageant, I had to sing a solo, and that was not exactly the easiest thing. I mean, um, the, one of the reverends, the minister of music, Mr. Finkbeiner, kept telling, uh, I mean, told my parents, you know, it's hard to convince them, and I said, you never convinced me. But I look back, and it's, it's, it was, actually, I'm glad I did it. I didn't think I'd like playing sports every day, but I mean, you get used to it, and it's great. It's fun, it's an experience, and from being, from never touching a football before, I started on varsity this year, after this is, this is my third year playing, but I mean, I really learned a lot, and I've learned to respect athletics as I do academics. I think the student that does a very good job at Cardigan is the student that's going to partake in a lot of different activities over the course of his experience at the school. So I think you're going to find a lot of well-rounded kids. 
I think you're going to find a lot of happy kids and a lot of active kids. Student leaving Cardigan Mountain School has great confidence. The confidence to go off into the greater world and have a positive experience. Cardigan was terrific for me. I happened to build three boats when I was there in the woodworking shop. I now own my own mill workshop, one in Boston, one in New York, and I have a shop in Australia. It's a, needless to say, when you're in 7th and 8th grade, 8th, ninth grade, it's a, uh, it's a real transition point in life, and Cardigan uh, did a lot for uh, everything from my educational experience, certainly, obviously, number one, but team experience and learning how to work as a team, not just on athletics, but everything we did there, and uh, they're very much of a, a family type of uh, experience, and uh, enjoyed it a lot. The idea at Cardigan is to build character and minds in a setting removed from the city. We seek the school to have as its only aim that of education, mental, physical, and moral. I think our setting is very important. It's a rural setting. Um, the students don't have uh, a lot of things going on away from their school experience that might distract them. But we're also very lucky that civilization is out there. We're only about two hours from Boston. Uh, we are very, very fortunate to be near Hanover, New Hampshire, the home of Dartmouth College. Uh, Dartmouth College brings us wonderful resources. We are very, very lucky to have those resources um, at our fingertips. Uh, here at Cardigan, we feel very strongly that we're developing the whole child. The opportunity for students and faculty to work together to enrich their lives in a whole number of areas is absolutely critical to this kind of extended family environment. I guess you might call it the Cardigan commitment, the, the holistic approach the teachers take to the kids, not just in the classroom, not just in the dormitories and on the sports field, but in a very, very complete way. And it wasn't just the teachers, it was the students feeling about the school as they gave us our tour and about their teachers. So it was a, a fairly extraordinary experience when we had our interview here and Cardigan stood out. Cardigan gives your child a very good, firm foundation, um, not only from an academic standpoint um, for his secondary um, level of education as well as college, but it also gives him a very good, firm foundation for life. It gives him a lot of self-confidence, um, which is important to get through the tough times of life. I've met very few students in my career in education, which has been my only career, that do not want to do well and be successful. Sometimes there are obstacles, but each student has a strength. And what we need to do is to provide a place for each student to feel that they are not just good, but very good, that they can go forward, build off that success, and have it apply to other areas which aren't quite as strong at that moment in their lives. Once they've established that level of confidence, they are then ready to move forward and be successful in many more areas of their, of their young lives.